We've come today to gather in God's presence and in the presence of other witnesses, family and friends, to join Erica Stockton and Landon Barnes in the sacred covenant of marriage. This is a covenant instituted by God. God gives His design for human creation, and that is for one man and one woman to be joined together and to be together forever. And for that purpose, we've come here this afternoon. All of Erica's life, she wanted her grandfather to officiate the service. The Lord took him home just a few years ago, and of course, he wasn't able to do that. I told her during the counseling that uh, it was my honor to officiate this ceremony on behalf of your grandfather who loved you very much. It seems like yesterday Erica was twirling around at the house in her little princess outfit and she always liked to dress up with the Disney princesses and things like that in their in the outfits and stuff and today to me you know, she looks like a princess. We just thank God for bringing us together, we just feel like one big family, really. And uh, and I thank God that I'm gaining a, a son you know, here, too. I had some scripture that I want to read. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. And then we have John where Jesus spoke, and he said, My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. So Erica, I ask you, will you have Landon to be your husband in the sacred covenant of marriage? Will you love him in sickness and in health and be faithful to him alone for the rest of your life? Landon, will you have Erica to be your wife in the sacred covenant of marriage? Will you love her in sickness and in health and be faithful to her alone for the rest of your life? I do. Part of the marriage ceremony is making vows to each other. God considers these vows of marriage very, very important, and they're going to share them with each other at this time. Landon, when I met you, I was not looking for a relationship. I was content in my singleness and unsure of how my future was going to look regarding relationships and marriage. One thing I was sure of is that we had a connection that was evident to those around us. I remember the first time that I saw you and I was so nervous that I barely said two words to you. <laughs> Since then, you quickly became the one I ran to with both the good and the bad things. As I was getting to know you, I quickly realized that I no longer recognized my life without you in it and was unable to imagine a future that you were not a part of. Erica, you are my rock and my best friend, whom I get to spend the rest of my life with. Throughout this journey, we have seen each other at our best and at our worst, and we have continued to love and support each other at all times. As we are standing here today, I can honestly say that you are my best friend in the whole world, and I never want to live a day without you by my side. I love that you love me in a way that reflects Christ's love for us. I love how the patience that you show me in every circumstance is a reflection of the patience that Jesus shows his children. I promise to always try my best to show you the graciousness and compassion shown to us by Jesus every single day. Your sweet laugh is my favorite sound, and I hope that I get to hear it every day for the rest of my life. To say that I am absolutely honored to marry you is an absolute understatement because you mean more to me than anything else in this world. I promise to love Jesus first and to prioritize my marriage to you after my relationship with Christ. I promise to love you and to cherish you each and every single day of my life. I promise to love you the same on the mountain tops as when we walk through the valleys. And to faithfully stand by your side on the mountain tops and in the valleys. I will forever be grateful to the Lord for choosing me to be your partner in life, your wife. I love you more than life and words, Landon Drew. You also have my heart forever with my love, your sweet boy, Landon. Father. Once again, we come before you. We thank you for Erica and Landon. They've pledged themselves to you. 
I pray, Father, that you would give them a love that surpasses their wildest mm -hmm. dreams. I pray that you would keep your hand on them in terms of provision. And I pray, Father, that you would guide their paths as they serve you, as they leave this place, not as two, but as one. And Father, we thank you in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Now that Erica and Landon have given themselves through vows and the giving and receiving of a ring, I pronounce you husband and wife. I believe you may kiss your bride. I am Brianna Erica Spiffle. I've known Erica since we were in the fifth grade. I have never had a sister, but Erica has been one for me for so many years. I couldn't be happier for y'all. I wish you both nothing but the best in the future and to always keep God in the center of relationship. I love you guys. Good evening, everyone. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Connor, Landon's younger brother. It has been one of the greatest parts of my life to be able to grow up with Landon. Erica, you have no idea how happy it makes me to see my best friend so joyful. You have been a missing piece of Landon's puzzle. I believe I can speak for everybody here. If y'all need anything, don't hesitate to call. Love one another and you will be happy. It is as simple and difficult as that. Welcome to the family, Erica, and congratulations. Back home, but I get lost alone. 